this is Samsung B650 soundbar with wireless subwoofer. What I want to do is to show you how to connect this to your TV using optical cable. This soundbar can connect it to your TV using optical cable, HDMI and Bluetooth. The cables are not included in the packaging so I'm using the one I got in my office. So to hook this up, what you need to do is first of all, you need to unplug the soundbar and also unplug the subwoofer take the cable this is optical cable then go at the back okay where it's written digital audio optical so push the cable inside it and the cable is in okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to take the other end of the cable go to the back of your tv where it's written digital audio out so put this cable push it inside the cable is in okay now the next thing we need to do is do is you need to plug the soundbar to the power plug the subwoofer and also plug the tv on to the power So plug the TV onto the power. Now go to the soundbar and use the input to select. So use the input to select DG in. Can see DG in? Okay. Now go to the TV settings. Scroll down to the sound and it's showing us TV speaker. You need to select on it, then scroll to the side to optical. Optical out device, select on it. This sound banner is connected. Now, what you need to do is you need to increase the vol volume using the sound bar remote. Restrictions for this is the audio uh, security reasons, um, particularly driven by the context of, of the ongoing war in Gaza. And if you look at the back here, the soundbar is linked up together, even higher, and could make it even more complicated to so get this is the audio. Kind of true steel. Our correspondent Yolan now there. Well, in another development, Benny Gant. They need your help, kids. <laughs> this is the audio. I think done up this pro national cast of ex islanders ready for some healthy competition. Winners win, and I'm a winner. If I have to play dirty, I'm gonna play dirty. Mom, Thank you very much, guys. I'm this is how to hook this so up to your TV via optical yeah. cable. Now, what I want to do is to show you how to connect this soundbar to your TV via Bluetooth. This soundbar is currently connected to this TV using HDMI cable. HDMI cable and optic cable are not included in the packaging. This is the optical cable. So if you want to hook this sound by using HDMI or optical cable, then you need to buy the cable separate. What I want to do now is to show you how to connect this sound bar to your TV via Bluetooth. So what I'm going to do is remove, unplug the HDMI cable. And you can see the audio is from the TV. Information war by publishing what appears to be intercepts of the so 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 this is HDMI cable. Now what we want to do is first of all, we need to go to the TV setting to connect this to your TV via Bluetooth. You need to use the input to select BT. So you need to select BT, and it will be in BT pairing. Okay, so you can do this use select by selecting use the remote control button. Select BT. It will be in BT pairing. Now go to your TV settings. Scroll down to the sound and it's showing us now TV speaker. You need to select on the sound now. Scroll to the side to Bluetooth, and this is the Bluetooth. You need to scroll down and look for device list, select enter, and it's now looking for available Bluetooth device. Okay, and here we go. So it picked up. Samsung Sandbar B series is available. You need to select on it and it's connecting, it's connected. Now you can increase the volume when it's in Bluetooth, you can increase the volume using the TV remote 
Likewise, the sandbar. This is the audio. Because I'm increasing the volume using the sandbar remote control. Likewise, this is TV remote control. You can also increase the volume. You see it here. So, so I move this around because I, I don't want to move, leave it in one particular place. If you want to check this, then you need to select your TV settings. Then you need to scroll down to the sound. And it's showing us now Bluetooth device. So this is how to hook this up to your TV via Bluetooth. And when it's in Bluetooth, like I said earlier, you can control the volume using the TV remote. Likewise, using the sandbar remote control. With the sandbar remote control, you can select... You can select bass boost. So it's now bass boost. You can also select standard. This is standard. This is surround game. You use sound mode to select every other mode you want. This is adaptive. This is DTS Visual X. The official preliminary results of its elections show that hardliners and conservatives have won most. So basically, this is how to hook this up to your TV via Bluetooth. So what I want to do now is to show you how to hook this up with HDMI cable. And before you do anything, make sure you unplug the sandbar and also unplug the subwoofer and the TV. Now, take HDMI cable, then you go at the back of your soundbar where it's written HDMI to TV ARC so it's in push the cab cable inside it and it's in HDMI to TV ARC then go at the back of your TV So take the other cable, to HDMI TV E-Act, HDMI into TV Act. So this is where we connected the second cable. Now the next thing you need to do is plug in the soundbar to the power, plug in the TV, and plug in the subwoofer. Now, if you look at the back of the subwoofer, it's currently flashing. Once you switch the soundbar on, it will link up together. So we need to switch the soundbar on. Okay, the soundbar is on. Then we need to select, use the input to select DGN. Can I see DGN. So use the input to go to DGN. Then check. The subwoofer again, you can see a steady blue light. The light is no longer flashing. They are now linked together. Now we need to switch the TV on. So switch the TV on. So it's actually connected. This is the audio. What you need to do is you need to go to the TV settings. The reason I suspect is but, but, but scroll down to the sound is under and he's showing us now HDMI act device. If if it's not in HDMI act, you need to select on it when you select the sound, you select on it, then scroll to the side and go to wherever you see HDMI. You can see it's moving side to side. Okay, so if you select this is now a TV speaker. You can see the audio from TV speaker. This is the TV audio. Then you need to select the sound, scroll to the side. To hear DMI, select. See the difference. 
So there's a massive difference. And also with the Desamba remote control, you can select bars. You can select any other features. So basically, this is how to hook this up to your TV. And they're showing us now TV app. Mother. So guys, thank you very much indeed.